The biggest problem with Bluetooth is backwards compatibility. They need to make sure that every Bluetooth device they ever come out with works with every Bluetooth device that ever did come out. Zoe Kravitz says Bluetooth does not work. 100% disagree. Do you know what the definition of work is? What? It means it works 100% of the time. She's not wrong. Think about it. If Bluetooth is built into a car, and that's a big point of it, anything that they build into a car has to work for at least 10 years. 10 years. 10 years worth of improvements, and you still have to be able to talk to it from a brand new phone. And of course, you can't use any of the brand new features when talking to a 10 year old device you have to only use audio protocols that it knows so why is backwards compatibility a problem for bluetooth a lot of the weirdness is built right into bluetooth standard when bluetooth showed up in 1999 people were using wires to do things eighth inch audio cable to connect your headset db9 to connect your serial device parallel port to connect to your printer so the standard is full of descriptions of these wires and how to replace them with this bluetooth radio so you can act just like you have a wire still even though it's now wireless so when Zoe Kravitz was talking about why she thought Bluetooth sucked. She had all these specific examples of like trying to connect her phone's Bluetooth to the car of the guy she was on a date with to play one song for him. And I thought that was really bold. I would never try that. I would ask, do you have a wire, right? Yeah, it's crazy. Of course that's not going to work, right? You'll end up fiddling around with the stereo for 10 minutes. But now that we're into the digital age and everyone's getting cell phones that are you know, meant to be wireless, it's weird. You put in the radio chip and you're like, how do I use this radio? And you have to tell it to imitate a wire. You know, you don't even have a port anymore for a wire. So you end up with this weird sort of backwards feeling experience. The new iPhone 17 has the N1 chip that supports the very latest Bluetooth 6. So how does Bluetooth 6 make your Bluetooth better? It uses less power, a little bit faster, a little bit lower latency, and it has some neat stuff about detecting the distance between the two radios. If both have Bluetooth 6, there's a new audio codec in there, so headphones will sound better. But Apple AirPods have always used a proprietary Apple one, the AAC. And Apple already had their ultra-wideband radios to tell how far away your headsets are. So I'm not sure that Apple users are going to see much difference at all from this. Backwards compatibility isn't as big an issue for a pure software system like Speedify. The client and the server, we control both, we can upgrade both, and the client, whenever it connects the server, gets connected to the exact right version of the server software. So we don't have the issues of having to talk to a car that's stuck on a 10-year-old version. In conclusion, I want you to subscribe.